Welcome to this irrigation information video, information you'll need to adopt precision irrigation solutions onto your farm profitably. This video is sponsored by CropMetrics. The big question in front of us, what is precision irrigation? So let's take a look at this from your perspective. Are you a corn grower? a wheat grower, an alfalfa producer, or are you raising food grade crops like potatoes or watermelon? Maybe you're growing carrots, onions, oranges. It really doesn't matter. When it comes to irrigation, we're all thinking about the same things. It's the right amount at the right time in the right place. That's what it boils down to with irrigation. Now, a lot of the topics in the last few years have been around hardware when it comes to precision. Maybe it's probes, a lot of conversations around probes. Maybe variable rate irrigation. Variable rate is very simple. It only means you're applying a different rate in your system. So we're gonna talk a little bit more about that in the future. What about drip? There's subsurface drip, there's above ground drip, there's all sorts of different drip systems on the market today. Even flood. People have looked at flood systems and found ways to make it more precise. Now, there's a challenge with all of this technology. It doesn't matter how good it is if it's not adopted. And see, one of the things that really limits adoption is that we all know variability exists. We all know that every field by its very nature has variability in it. So when you look at all of this hardware and the cost and the expense, how do we really grasp onto it and adopt it? Because in every field, we have to think about the right amount to grow my crop, to keep the root zone happy, to get us to get a profitable return without over irrigating and wasting anything or without under irrigating and risking a crop. So we really have to look at it from a deeper perspective. In terms of precision, it really starts with data management. It's all about the data. What information do you have at your disposal to make the right decisions for your irrigation? And see, that comes down to mindset. It's not just about what we've always done or uh, taking the same approach with our hardware and our equipment. It comes down to grasping a mindset that says, I want to be precise. I want to be exact and very accurate with what we're doing. It really is about change. You know that what you're doing is good, but can it be great? And that's what precision irrigation is all about. Can we be great? Now, when you look at it from your perspective and from your operation, you have to think about priorities. You cannot put so much money into this that you do not have make a profit. So you have to be able to prioritize on what is the right thing for you to do versus the right thing for someone else to do. Now, when you look at it from a priority standpoint and adjustment of your mindset, you will begin to develop a purpose in your management strategy. That is really the first step to move you into precision irrigation. So my friends, that's what it really boils down to. Knowing your why, why you're going to move into precision irrigation, understanding the hardware and the equipment that is capable of achieving that goal, and then putting everything together and making the right decisions to put the right amount on at the right time in the right place every time. So irrigation information, the videos that are coming to you are going to cover a lot of this hardware, a lot of these concepts. So I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me today. And as we open up the door on precision irrigation in more detail, I hope that you'll contact us if you have any questions, if you have any type of irrigation systems that you want to hear more about, please reach out to us. We will find the resources to get that information back to you. So thank you for joining us today. And so until next time, God bless.